It's common for artists to have a certain style in their art. It what, it's what makes them recognizable. When you become familiar with the color and labs in Jim, Jim Williams' work, you will recognize his pieces instantly. Rob Nesbitt joins us now with more on what influenced him to paint the certain breed of dog and, sh and joins us now with more. Peggy and Amanda, Jim always wanted to be a painter, but it wasn't until later on in life that Jim decided to pick up a brush. 14 years after starting his business, he's never been happier in the career. The Knightville area of South Portland has grown in the last 10 years. Jim Williams wanted in on the trend. And I saw a for rent sign, this was four years ago. And I thought, well, what about Knightville? The perfect place to open his gallery, mainly lab studio. The name says it all. Especially with a black lab or a chocolate lab, the color just makes the, the labs pop out. He enjoys painting labs and the company they provide. 27th year in a row where labs are the number one breed in the country. 10-year-old Gilly is the fourth lab the family has had spending time next to Jim and providing inspiration for his next piece. What are you doing there, Gil? When customers walk in, they are often triggered by the labs that remind them of their own furry friends. All the work that I do, the, the dogs become universal um, and people see their own dogs in my work. They'll come and they'll say, oh, that one looks just like Murphy or Bailey or Baxter. Lab brown eyes. The trick, according to Jim, is to leave out the eyes. You'll get something after a while. It makes the labs he creates on each canvas more generic. Why labs? Well, that's the type of dog he's always wanted since he was a kid. When I grow up, I'm going to get a real dog, a big dog. His first, Maddie, started it all. I said someday I'll do a painting of her and um, I finally brought myself to do it after I became disenchanted with the corporate world and left my job. Jim worked for 22 years as a human resources manager. A painting class at Maine College of Art opened his eyes to what color on canvas can do. Like that one is definitely a Matisse. The day after that first class, Jim was on his way back to work, admiring how nice the September day was. That day turned out to be September 11th, 2001. It resonates with me, I relate to that day because so many people went to work that day and didn't come home. He decided then and there it was time for a change, leaving his corporate job and pursuing painting full time. This was actually the first lab painting that I did. He's been known for his lab art at Mainly Lab Studio for 14 years. Kind of moved towards labs. He couldn't be happier with his job, life. You gotta spoil your labs and office partner. If you're going to work, you might as well love something you do. And so life's too short to mess around with things that you're not enjoying. So you might as well just get out there, try some things, have fun. Life is short and uh, seize the day. Mainly Lab Studio in South Portland is open to customers Wednesday through Friday from 1 to 4.30 p.m. and Saturdays 10 to 4.30 p.m. for anybody who wants to stop in and check out their work.